Good morning, everybody. We find ourselves on uh, Pitt Lake, headed up towards Goose Island. It's quite a beautiful view we're kayaking into. I'm gonna do an overnighter. Let me give you a view of the entire situation here. Beauty. Check it when we get closer. Island. We have arrived and now we need to find our landing spot. Good lord, it is beautiful around here. So, when I was reading about this Goose Island, they said that there was one camp kind of campsite that you could use uh, that was accessible from the water because it's pretty cliff bound around the island but this is totally as advertised so we come up here and this area up here is not only flat but it's mossy so it's going to be an amazing place to put the tent. And then you have the cook area down there. And then you have this amazing view. With a view like this, it calls for a B-52. And it's separated. B-52 with a view here on Pitt Lake, camping on Goose Island. Cheers. Nice. Happy to say that the home sweet home is all set up at its perch there. Definitely what you would call a room with a view. So uh, dinner was good, the sun has gone down and holy smokes does it get a bit chilly when the sun goes down. So we're just uh, brewing up some hot chocolate here, gonna sit and relax. Not gonna lie, I think this would be a lot more fun with somebody else. This being my first solo camp, I'm gonna be honest with you, I find myself uh, twiddling my thumbs a little bit and wondering what I should do. Kind of have everything chore-wise done. Tents up, food's cooked, fire's all right. So, uh, hmm. see how things go. But I gotta tell you, it is beautiful, it is peaceful. Perhaps I will meditate. Well, it is now pitch black. It is nine o'clock. 
and the stars are out. They're unbelievably beautiful. No light pollution at all. And funny enough, I'm beat. So, uh, when was the last time I went to bed at 9 o'clock? Hope we get a great sleep. See you in the morning. Good morning, my friends. It's uh, 7.15 in the morning. I had a pretty good sleep. I uh, only woke up a couple of times because of the wind. Uh, wanted to make sure the boat was still okay. Lashed to the to the uh, drift logs, but uh, everything was a-okay. Pit Lake is one of the few lakes that has a tide, so I had to make sure that the boat was okay. Everything was good. The winds picked up overnight. Uh, the good news is, is that the wind is pushing in our favor. So uh, if we can get out of here in the next hour or so, we'll have the wind on our back. Should increase our time home. Sorry, decrease our time home. Huh. Should increase our speed, which will therefore decrease our time home. Another gorgeous morning here on Pitt Lake. Time to get some lake water, boil it up, make myself a cup of tea, get some water for brushing my teeth, and uh, an oatmeal, cinnamon oatmeal for uh, breakfast. But with the wind picking up and the no sun out just yet, that's why I'm all decked out. It's cold, but it's beautiful cold. It's crisp. So camp is broken. It's about 8.15ish uh, in the morning. The sun is up on the mountains. We're gonna try to get out here on the water before uh, it gets too hot. The uh, wind has died down a bit, but it looks like we still have the wind at our back. Gotta say, this has been a beautiful spot. Definitely come back. I'd like to bring one of my kids, or uh, maybe this is a good destination for the adventures of two fat dads. Next time I come, I think I'll do a little bit more exploration of the island, now that I have a lay of the land right here. So, uh, yeah. We are done with this one here at the camp and uh, give you a bit of an update, uh, mid, mid paddle. It's about a three hour, three hour paddle out here. I'm not sure how long it's gonna be back, but uh, I'm, a, I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty close to three hours. I'll probably have a stop off in there and take a break, have some munchies. But yeah, this was my first overnight solo and uh, it was successful. So as you can see, if you kayak down the west side of the lake, you get into a place where it's about three feet deep, maybe. And uh, it's absolutely gorgeous as the sun sends ripples along the, the lake floor and you just feel like you're floating on air, not just water. Absolutely beautiful. So the, uh, putting it at the slough added about 45 minutes to the paddle, so that's good to know for next time when we uh, are allowed to go to the boat launch. Obviously it's closed right now, rightfully so, with the COVID-19 closing most fun things down right now. But. Uh, here we are, back into our little slough. What a gorgeous paddle. So much time to just kind of think and chill, get into your own mind. It's a gift. Well, my friends, this 
will be the end of our journey today. Hope you enjoyed it. Another episode of B-52 with a view.